Today, PRP plus hyaluronic acid seems to have the best combination of anti-inflammatory, pain-relieving, and stimulation. PRP is derived from a patient's own blood, where we draw a little bit of blood, spin it in a centrifuge, which drops the platelets in the centrifuge to a level, and then we can take those platelets and the fluid around them and inject them back into a patient's knee or damaged tissues. The platelets contain growth factors and other factors that stimulate the joint to heal, to diminish inflammation, and to recruit the body's own stem cell-derived progenitor cells. So within your own blood, the platelets contain all of the growth factors and other factors necessary for healing. And so we can use those platelets from the patient to stimulate the patient's own healing response. All joints are lubricated by a solution called hyaluronic acid and lubricin. These components produce a lubricity that permits the joint to be five times as slick as ice on ice. And so we add the hyaluronic acid as an injection to someone's joint and we combine it with PRP, the growth factors, in order to diminish the friction, the stiffness, and the soreness inside an injured joint. Hyaluronic acid is made from recombinant technology. Uh, it used to be from rooster combs, and people had heard quite a bit about it. Uh, it's more effective when added uh, to a PRP-like solution, growth factors, but it provides tremendous relief for patients when injected into a damaged area. So we use a combination of anabolic therapies, of PRP and hyaluronic acid, both for acute injuries. So someone twists their ankle ligament, we augment the healing of that ligament and speeds their recovery. But we also use it for arthritic joints and we use it for stiff joints. So if you had a knee joint surgery with an ACL reconstruction at one month or two months or three months, you might be struggling a little bit with range of motion. And we find this combination of PRP and hyaluronic acid together, when given as an injection to that damaged area, speeds the healing, shuts down the inflammation, improves the range of motion, and has really been a great therapeutic tool for us to help patients recover faster.